Stoppage boys, Kit Campbell. We thought he might last at least one round, but let's see how we go. One hook in, definitely. Shane Ware and all the kids uh, the wait out, right He's now. out. I can see from my position, boys. He's uh, got one Shane. hook in, definitely. He's almost got a body triangle here, Johnny. Right. Is he too high, Josh? <laughs> he's high. He's yeah. going to get bucked off right now. Well done, Shane Mitchell. He's a seasoned pro. But he wants the armbar. Well, this is what he did last time. He wants the armbar. Shane fighting quite, it. He can't quite get his right leg in. Shane fighting it. He's doing all the right things, but... Absolutely. Shane doing a terrific job of fighting. Oh, no. He just kicked, can't quite get his right leg in position. He's no. doing such a good job fighting with his neck. Shane's doing the right thing. He's coming forward as much as he can. But Kit's still got a chance here for armbar or a triangle. Just Shane Mitchell just refuses. He's just refusing to give up his neck. Kit's still got the armbar. And now his left leg's not quite no. in position. He's Josh, can this. you see from where you are? He's lost the armbar, definitely. He's got him stacked, and Kit's in a really vulnerable position right now, actually. Crowd went to silence for a couple of seconds, gents. He's, uh, Shane's arm's still stuck in, but Kit's going to have to do all sorts of work to get a submission. Oh, now he's gone for the knee bar. Great comeback. Oh, he's, no, he's missed it. Oh, Kit's dangerous off, his, off the ground at the moment. If Shane can push through, he'll have dominant position on the ground here. Half guard for Kit Campbell, and he's rolled him over. Half guard now. Let's see what Kit's got. Oh, into side control. Kit sweeps. Oh, Kit Campbell, Kit can sweeps. he roll him? Can he roll him? Can't get the sweep, and now he's giving up his back as well. See, that strength from Kit Campbell, though. He's a big, big individual for a heavyweight, and he's growing, as Jono said. For a middleweight. Middleweight, middleweight sorry, excuse me. For a middleweight, he's growing, as Jono said. He's getting bigger by the fight. He's 21 years old. Oh, well done, Kit. Good trip. Shane's a bit too high. Kid will roll out here. He could have his back if he wants it. I actually had the pleasure of Shane him. wants the armbar. He's not going to get it from the armbar. Great resilience here by Kit Campbell. Technical grappling match so far. It really is. Tell you what, Shane Mitchell will want to make a statement against uh, the, the likes of Kit Campbell. He, he wants to prove that, you know, I'm not just going to come in here and just be a hard fight for Kit. I'm coming here to win because I want to, you know, I want to make a run at things as well. Shane does have an armbar victory in his repertoire, so he does know how to find it. But it's going to be tough to get it from here with Kit right now. Uh, yeah, one, he's actually had two submission victories, one by armbar, one by guillotine. Oh, oh nice little hand, little bit of how's your father in that? A couple of lefts, a third one, that got his attention, so yeah. put him off. Very smart Shane Mitchell, but now full guard, full close guard for Mitchell. The longest kids ever fought in the AFC. Oh, big elbow by Campbell. And the left hand. Have a fist. Shane Mitchell, have a fist from the bottom. Kit Campbell. Done well. Oh, good again, Kit. But then Shane fires straight back with the elbow. Yeah, Shane very busy on his back. Yeah, well said, Matty. Busy fighter from the bottom. Oh, those ones got through. Nicely done by Kit. Mixing it up, going from one side to the other. Mixing it up. He's opened his guard up. Kit's out. And he's got some level of side control almost. Campbell beat the oh, oh, good, good body shot. Good body shot by Campbell. Just little things there. Just being done here by Kit Campbell. Just going for oh, a nice body knee. Very nice knee to the body by Campbell. And again, four knees, Campbell. He's bearing down the South Australian here, Kit Campbell. He's really got to test the conditioning of Shane, uh, Shane Mitchell. Huge volume of strikes by Campbell. And both guys really absorbing the energy of one another here, guys. Kit's been fantastic. Kit's trying to really good 
throw in the last sort of 90 seconds. This has been impactful for the round. Oh! oh nice there we go. Yeah, and the throw, go for the throw. throw's coming. So kick count was actually quite good in the judo department. He really knows how to, uh, he, he's particularly the, the hip tosses. Oh, he's gonna get it going. Oh, big slam coming. Big slam coming. Oh! Good effort by Shane absorbed that thing. Shane has been working his judo, as I said, with Luke Howard earlier, so he's ready for what kick can bring to him. And as you mentioned, John, you know, I think Kit's done a fair bit with Daniel Kelly. Is that right? Yeah, Kit comes down to the reserves train centre and fight out and he mixes it up with him. So really, I'm missing him, uh, Daniel Kelly. I, I do a lot of striking with him. I'll tell you sometimes, I was saying to Josh earlier, I'll actually find him um, very unusual in striking because he can actually throw punching kicks from the craziest angles he can get right to one side. The first time the kick can able to pin into the second round. So this, this is what a round two is like, Kit. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he's got the cardio now, eh? Nah, Kit's got terrific cardio. He really works hard. And, uh, you know, just a terrific kid as well. Uh, when, when he's not uh, getting in the cage or when he's not punching on, he's an electrician and a press oh. electrician. Had the pleasure of Kit coming around my house and putting in my kitchen lights. Very nice. Oh, oh I see what I mean, the flexibility. Hey, Kit. Shane Mitchell knows he's going to get a fight now. What's he going to counter back with? I'd be keeping my hands a little tight if I was uh, Shane Mitchell. Just uh, you don't want to get caught because kick can, that, uh, that right there and there, case in point, you can throw those kicks up at will. Very wide stance for Shane Mitchell as well. So maybe expecting the takedown. He's getting his ground, his centre of gravity very low there. Nice Spot chop of the defenses. rear leg. The rear leg of uh, most fighters will not be as conditioned as the, uh, the front leg. Shane firing back, double double jab, very nice. He's got that left hand low though, isn't he? Oh, there's nice, a take down. beautiful there's take there. Nice and good round position. Does that feel it's on amazing. the chin? The, the rear naked choke's on the chin. It's a very hard to get the submission when it's on the chin, but plenty of time to work. Josh Warner, this is your 101, and uh, Kit looking like he's really tying up Shane Mitchell here. Kit's trying the body triangle, which I'm he always like. Might slip off potentially. Uh, if he does, no, he's not going to. Oh, he will. Just there. He could end up in full guard here. I can't see what he's got on that side. I don't know if he's going for an arm, a straight arm bar potentially. Jose Lopez and Dave Mason screaming in trucks. What a good corner to be for Kid at the Kid's rolling. If he can fling him over, he's got an arm bar. If he rolls him, he's got the arm bar. Oh, oh, oh has, has he got, got it? it? Oh, he's he out. He got out of the arm bar. Are you kidding me, Matt Pilios? Josh Warner, are you kidding? He did it perfectly. He rolled him over, had the armbar there, and slipped out somehow. He's a tough South Australian. Oh, wow. Shane Mitchell, you freak. Wow, that was close. Perfectly executed by Kit Campbell, though. Kit must be saying, you got to be kidding me. How did you get out of that? I think he probably thought he had his second straight yeah, armbar. Kit going there. back to the knees to the body, softening up as he was in the first round, but uh, being blocked now by the left leg no, of Shane Mitchell. No need to throw that knee as he tries to get up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right on time, right on cue, MVP. A couple of elbows from Shane Mitchell, just reminding Kit that he's still in this fight. Nice, he's in body. Ends in silver style. All right, what's Shane got now? Kit's got. Well, as I was going to oh, say, beautiful, beautiful trick. I was Kit just Kit. about to say, I bet Kit will go for the leg sweep. He's very good at doing that. That's something we practice quite a lot at the Resident Training Centre on the wall. Um, and Kit is. Man, he's just so good at doing it. He's so smooth, so calm. And oh, easy. good left hand, good right hand from Shane. Oh, there's a back at nice uh, reverse elbow there from uh, Shane Mitchell. He's, he's a fighter, Shane Mitchell. I'll give him that. He's not stopping, and he's throwing punches from wherever he's standing. He's here to win, not lose. That's for sure. Or lying. And another good right there by Mitchell. Campbell yeah, wants to posture up. He's got long arms for a bit of weight, hasn't he? He does. He has a slight height and reach advantage in this fight. Nothing huge, but, you know, a couple of inches makes a pretty big difference. Yeah, it's me. Oh! Big elbow! And you hear the crowd erupt here in the Golden Pavilion. I mean, Kit, to me, is a perfectly built middleweight. He's not so big that he has to cut in a, a, an exhausting amount of weight that he gas himself out. But he's got just a perfect height, terrific reach, and an all-round uh, all mixed martial arts game. Kit Campbell again, domin well, not dominating, but he's certainly controlling his round. Now in the side control, number of submissions he can work from here. I definitely think Kit's doing the right thing in keeping very low to the body no, of making, Shane Mitchell. He's not carry his weight. He's exactly right, Josh, because he knows Shane has got that ground game where he can't catch it from his back. Spot on. Oh, full mount. Here we go. Oh, Josh, right on P. Open up. Push his head back and open up now, Campbell. I think he's listening to you, Josh. He's just been oh, he's, he's hurt him. Oh, he's hurt him bad. Oh, he's Shane coming Mitchell up. Huge trouble. Keep kicking. Here comes.
comes to a kick oh, big down the big in trouble for Shane Mitchell. Left. He's gone to the right. Now he's going to switch back to the left. Gone for the choke. Jeez, Can he get him, Josh? How yeah, tough is Shane Mitchell, though? He is in trouble. Whoa. He, he had some huge shots boys. then. Huge to survive by Shane Mitchell. I think that's the second time this round that Kick Campbell thought this fight was over. I think a lesser fighter would have given up by now. Hats off oh, to he's Shane tough, Mitchell. Man. He's, he's a favourite of mine now, Shane Mitchell. He's a real tough oh, dude. Absolutely. Oh, oh, he's got, got this in. Has he got, has he, has he got it in? Tied it up. We can't quite see from our position. Christian having yeah. a nice close look. No, Shane Mitchell can. slips out nicely done. Is Campbell too high again? No, he's got the hook in. The final 10 seconds. Oh, he's off. Matthew Pilios. Oh, straight armbar. Straight armbar. Can he get it? He's in the most Oh, he's done it again. He's got it. Yeah. Oh, the oh, buzzer beater. The buzzer beater. Third, third, third time he's escaped the armbar. Extraordinary Shane Mitchell. Yeah, as tough as they come to get from South Australia. Can hold his head up. Oh, what a yeah. round, though. This has been a cracking fight so far. Good. Oh, big shot. Big straight right hand by Kit Campbell. Shane looking a little bit gassed though. Shane's tired, no doubt. One thing that Kit is also very good at, he fakes Superman punches oh, off his lead and his rear. He can actually, he actually likes the GSP Superman punch off his lead. And he's very unpredictable, isn't he? You don't oh, know what very, he's going to throw yeah. next. Head kick by Campbell earlier on. Circling around. Look at that. Shoots in. How much energy Shane got to rebut this takedown attempt? They're both very sweaty here. Kip started to work a single leg, but going back to the inside knee, just softening him up a little bit. So many times when Kid and I have sparred, I often, sometimes I actually get really frustrated because he'll catch me with something very unusual, <laughs> very unpredictable. Kid dominant for that big takedown. Shane maintaining good posture though. Oh, the trip again. Going for the trip, he's aware he's of the trip. He got to his back. Second round. Suplex City coming up. Oh, he's got the standing rear naked. No, not quite. Shane has uh, been able to readjust position here, done quite well. The way Shane has battled off Kit, a few of uh, Kit's barrages has just been, uh, you know, hats off to him. It know. does take it out of you a little bit though. Shane's worn a fair bit in the first two rounds, but still to be in there throwing down, you know, I, I'm loving Look, the exactly right. Right. Always run a couple of elbows with uppercuts. Let Kit know he's still around. So Ivo De Santos moving towards the corner of Kit Campbell. Good to see him up and well. Get going for that take down. Oh, good man. Reckon it's actually probably a good. shoulder then. Oh, the old shoulder bump. I've seen that one, the shoulder bump and the foot stop. Oh, I see. Oh, oh swept on the trip. Right Beautiful. Kid Campbell, super impressive. You know, they really say that, you know, you fight like you're training. Kit is, this is just, seriously, this is like a Friday tri sparring session. This is exactly what it is. He executes it so well. But don't, you know, do not count out Shane Mitchell. He's proven that he can uh, get back up and bang back oh, and fight back. Absolutely. Kid's, kid's going to really want to, uh, you know, grind this one down, staying tight, not do anything silly. Position needs to improve here drastically. Absolutely. He's got to get off his back right now, get off the cage. You know, he has to explode out, uh, hip escape, get to cycle, uh, get to dog fight, try and snap that full mount of those hooks in. As we say, that full mount of Kid Campbell. We have nicely attempted. Oh, oh, yeah. Just so mature and patient with his knees as he is. So he can push off the cage, he's that's good. Oh, nicely reversed from Shane Mitchell. So now Kid on his back again, still very dangerous, but Shane now's got a chance to open up a little bit. Bit of ground control for Shane Mitchell. Kit trying to maintain some hand control. Close guard. Joshy, Kit looks so comfortable when he's on his back. He's not panicking at all. He's not panicking, but look, Shane hasn't done a lot from the top position. To oh, triangle. Triangle oh, slips out. Well, the last time we saw Kit on his back, he was able to pull out one of the best uh, armbars and armbar comebacks we've ever seen. Kit's looking more dangerous from the ground on his back than Shane is from on top. But having said that, Shane works the side control. And now some... Oh, in a lot of ways, I think Shane threw his most effective strikes from his back. Oh, but here we go. Is this a Shane surprise, get a hook guys? In? Can Shane get a hook in here? Oh, good elbow. Bit of blood from the elbow to Kit Campbell. 
Shane Mitchell, a bit like a junkyard dog, just not stopping. Oh, yeah, Bulldogs. absolutely. He's got to, you can throw some knees here. Knees into the guts. Oh, kick it. Well, they kick. Oh, oh, terrific oh, great kick here. We'll press it. Oh, 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 grab on the cage. Yeah. 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 Shane has exerted everything yeah. he's going to do, he's done it. It's really impressive. It's good for him to get a good 15 minutes under his yeah. belt as well, gentlemen. Because he hasn't, you're right actually, because he hasn't really been pushed, I guess, uh, insurance well. Oh. He's a beautiful hook leg sweep again. He loves hooking that leg. He's done it to me about a million and one time, so you know, you can do it to these smaller guys, surely. <laughs> guys who are more than size. Shane Mitchell, Gallant, but Kit Campbell dominant over three rounds. Ten seconds to go. Kit Campbell will at least be the crowd fight up nicely. Melbourne crowd going nuts here. AFC 13 and as has Shane Mitchell, a lot of heart. Really love the way he pushed through. You can hear the coordinates in the end, but. Kit Campbell, this kid is going places. Yeah. Really impressive by Kit Campbell again. And look, let's see, you know, he, he's not far away from that middleweight title shot, I don't think. Yeah, you're right, but, you know, the, I think, you know, he still might be another fight or two away because Sian Saliba, probably another step up, especially in the ground department. I really think, I think Kit will have him in the striking department. But uh, in the ground game, I think Zick Zane's uh, very, very high level, but no, no full doubt. credit. This, this kid's going places, man. Replays up here now, as you can see, Kit Campbell showing some really dominant control from the bottom this time. Threw up the triangle a number of times. Didn't really wear any damage from Shane Campbell. And when he did get on top, he's certainly the more dominant fighter. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and the strange thing was that I thought Shane Mitchell threw his best shot yeah, from, from the bottom. bottom. Round, yeah, from the bottom. It's a really good call, John. He threw some really good elbows, some straight punches from the bottom. But any time there was a tussle for position. Uh, shoot up to our... MC of the even best MC in Australia, John Devon Holly. Ladies and gentlemen, after the three rounds of action, we've gone to the judges' scorecard. All three top scoring contests. 30, 27, the very good fire, unanimous points.